thank you for watching the Squire Boone Village training series. In this video, we're going to review the steps to take if your Formula Sour bubble display stops making bubbles. As you know, keeping the bubble display in working order is important. We know when the lights or bubbles are off, sales go down. If your bubbles aren't working, there are a few things that could be going on, and you'll need to do just a little troubleshooting. First, turn off your display, then make sure that your display is unplugged for safety. To make working the display easier, lift the display onto a table or counter using the green poles. Next, remove all test tubes from the bottom shelf. Gently pry up on the black cone and raise it to the bottom of the shelf. You can use a small cardboard box or a piece of wood to hold up the cone. Locate the air pump and examine the air lines for kinks. If you find a kink, go ahead and straighten it out. Plug your unit back in and turn it on and see if you have any bubbles. If so, great, you're done. If there are still no bubbles, we'll next check the air line. If the air line falls inside the support pole and drops below the water level in the water tube, it can cause water to get in the pump. Identify which support pole the air line is in and remove the black cap. You can use a paper clip and unfold it like so to help pull the line up. Use a paper clip to hook the air line and position it so that the Y of the line is positioned above the support pole. And put the black cap back in place over the line. Once the airline is in place, you'll need to clear any water from the pump. Grab a bucket and remove the airlines from the pump. While the water is draining from the airlines, plug in the display and turn it on to get any water out of the pump. After the water has finished draining, reconnect the airlines to the air pump. Turn on the display to test. If you have bubbles, congratulations, you're done. If you didn't have a kink or water in the airlines, the next step will be replacing the pump. Call customer service to order a bubble unit maintenance kit. We have two types of displays. First, check to see if your pump is hardwired with a bar connector or plugged into the outlet. If your pump is plugged in, remove the tubing Unplug the pump and remove from the unit. The pump is velcroed to the base of the unit and may need a little force to remove completely. Open the new pump, adhere the velcro, and position in the same place to the base of the bubble display. Attach the air lines and plug in the new pump. Now, turn on the unit to test. If you have bubbles, refill the bottom shelf with Formula Sour test tubes and return the display to its place in your store. If you still do not have bubbles after checking for the kinks, water in the tubes, and replacing the air pump, please call customer service. If your air pump is hardwired, you'll need wire strippers, a utility knife, or snips. To give yourself more room to work, you'll need to remove the power push button. Unscrew the nut and put aside. Pull the button through the hole and lift the cone. Remove the air line from the existing pump and remove the pump from the base of the unit. Swap the old pump with the new pump, securing it with Velcro. Cut the cord of the new air pump so that it goes about an inch further than the bar connector. Using the wire strippers, strip the cord of the new pump and the old cord to expose the wires. One of the cords will be ribbed. This is considered the white wire or the ground wire. Align the ribbed cords to each other and non-ribbed cords to each other. This will ensure your display stays grounded. Twist the wires of the new pump and the previous cord together and secure with wire nuts. Secure the air line in place on the pump. 
Feed the power push button through the hole and lower the cone. Use the nut to secure the power button and you're ready. Plug it in and turn on the display to test. If you have bubbles, refill the test tubes on the bottom shelf and return the unit to its place in store. If you still do not have bubbles, please call our customer service number. Call customer service to order a bubble unit maintenance kit. Thank you for watching the Squire Boone Village training series. To order an air pump kit or refills for your display, please call our customer service number. Visit our website or YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on more videos from Squire Boone Village.